This is the table of Charlotte, I call it. And this is more to show how I come to a certain piece that I think this is it. But it's a process. I go from collecting things, doing research, what is Charlotte, where is Charlotte, what happened in Charlotte. Then my first idea comes up immediately. I'm going to make a suitcase with jewelry from the auxiliary. But first thoughts are good thoughts, but as an artist, you want to improve yourself. So you continue. I was invited by the auxiliary girls. They immediately inspired me to a piece like this. But this, these are in-between steps. Then I discovered that Charlotte has huge different churches, so I thought I'm going to make a suitcase with all kind of different religions. Thought, nah, to involve yourself with religion and politics as an artist, it's delicate. So, one thought was that the piece was stolen, my piece. So I designed a system with a golden hammer and it says at least he did it with style. So there would be an announcement in the, in the, in the newspaper that Norton's piece is stolen. Another idea I had with uh, Conrad Reed, he discovered a gold clum in Charlotte. So I want to make a kind of a, a, a statue for him, but people should pay first because I don't have enough money to make a statue. On the end, I came, inspired by the auxiliary girls, I came to a kind of idea to create the new American woman. Uh, because I was flabbergasted and touched by the auxiliary women who, ha they inspired me to design this. Power girls. They are easy in talking, they are intelligent, and they have power. So they inspired me to that. So I had thousands of women uh, which were very inspiring, inspiring American women. Musician, artists, politics people, writers. On intuition, I choose uh, uh, 11 women, and from these 11 women, I composed this woman. The basic thing is from Grace Kelly, and there are elements from other women, like the ears, the nose, the eyes, from other women. Het moet niet zo ogen dat het toevallig lijkt. Het moet echt ogen van dit is duidelijk gem geman uh, gemanipuleerd. Is dit vijf? Vier. Ja, uh, ik denk vier al. Ja. Opmeten voor zekerheid. Kijk, ja, dan zie je die mond zo, dan heb ik zelf ook de neiging om uh, dit te doen. <laughs> Three now. The language of the computer will be different. I mean, if you sculpture a face from clay or from wax or from, if you have a hammer and you have a piece of wood and you, then this language is already known, it's familiar, we know that language. I find that important that my work has the teeth of the 21st century and not that the piece looks like uh, as if it was made a uh, hundred years ago. Yeah. And you want them to be really visible, those things? Yes. Yeah, but you don't want to get it too visible either, so I think three, I think three, three should be right. So you say two to three? No, I would say three. Don't go two because it's a big piece and it's going to be quite, quite shallow. So I'd say three. Okay, you say three and a half. I mean like 3.1. Three is good, man. Three. You sure? Three is. Yeah, well, well, I said three. And we'll make three. You can ask me again. I will say again three. 
So the whole statue will be covered by flowers. And every year, 20, 22 to 25 flowers will uh, be taken away by the auxiliary because the board of the auxiliary changes every year. So it takes 10 years before the piece is revealed. And that's why I'm probably going to make the title slow. Because in this time, everything goes so quick. Everything is instant. Everything is brrrr. So I want to calm down and bring things to another energy level or speed. Ah, oh, here's the statue. But secret. And I, I wanted to do something that they did not expect. I wanted also, I want a dialogue. If somebody gives me an assignment, I want a dialogue and not give them a piece and then they say, oh, well, beautiful, Tad, and that's it. I want them to have sleepless nights. And afterwards, nice dreaming nights. I gotta go. American woman, yeah.